This week on the show, permits have been filed to start Tron construction, and also we've got some news about the Jingle Bell Jingle Bam Dessert Party. We also have the merch update, and we've just hit 100 subscribers on YouTube. So stick around because we have a giveaway at the end of the show as well. Hi and welcome to What in the World, the show where we take a look at all of the latest news from the Walt Disney World Resort in Orlando, Florida. Let's take a look at what's going on in Magic Kingdom as we kick off this week's show. So, as you're all probably aware, Disney unveiled plans last year to build a brand new Tron coaster in Tomorrowland in the Magic Kingdom. Just recently, Disney shared a first look with the Tron-themed billboard which was visible from Storybook Circus. The new attraction will be housed right next to Space Mountain, which is currently still being worked on to clear the land and also reroute some waterways. However, just recently, a permit has been filed with the state showing MK2, which was the name of this project. Now, the permits show a building completion package and there is no end date, which in Orange County means the project is permitted for one year from the filing date of the permit. This means the Tron building should be complete by around about August 2019, though this is just one part of the project. Also, there will be changes to some of the attractions as they start work on this brand new coaster, and one of them will be the Walt Disney World Railroad. Now this will take a bit of a break and park up at Main Street Station from December and guests will be able to get an up close look and take advantage of some photo opportunities with the train. For a portion of 2019, the Tomorrowland Speedway will close whilst the track is adjusted and it's expected to reopen round about mid 2019. Just in case you haven't heard, the Tron attraction is due to open for the 50th anniversary of the resort in 2021. So we spoke on the last show about the controversy caused by Disney handing out free plastic Ziploc bags at Splash Mountain, whilst on the other hand, saying they were going to reduce plastic waste in all of the theme parks. It seems guests who want to use the Ziploc resealable bags may have to wait a little longer, as these were meant to start distribution on the 1st of August, and the bags would have depicted graphics of Splash Mountain. It seems rollout has been delayed until an unknown date, although blog Mickey has been told that the Ziploc bags are actually on site. Disney has continued, however, to distribute Ziploc bags in Epcot as they are the sponsor for the Epcot Kidcot Fun Stops. So any of you guys that are lucky enough to be heading to the Epcot International Food and Wine Festival this year and are also an annual pass holder are in for a little bit of a treat. So as an annual pass holder during your first visit you can pick up a Chef Mickey magnet from the festival centre. And it gets even better as on your fourth visit to the Food and Wine Festival you can pick up this complimentary cutting board as well. Now they are limited to one per pass holder and are subject to availability. And don't forget about Thank You Thursdays where annual pass holders can enter Epcot from 8am where you can access the festival centre and mouse gear and also purchase mimosas. The dates for the Thank You Thursdays are August 30th, September 20th and October 18th. Vampirina on Disney Junior has become a little bit of a hit for the channel and it seems this new star will be making her way to the parks this fall. Guests can meet Vampirina from September the 30th and she will also be at the Disney Junior Play and Dine and then later in the fall she'll be meeting guests in the animation courtyard at Hollywood Studios. She will also be part of the Disney Junior Dance Party when it debuts later this year. So the Great Movie Ride closed just over one year ago, and while work has been ongoing inside and changes have been happening internally, it seems that the exterior of the building may be starting to get a little bit of love as well. So Disney has assured us that the exterior of the Chinese theatre will be largely untouched, and there will be no massive changes to the building. Now recently construction walls have gone up outside the theatre to accommodate the installation of new props and also do some touching up work. 
Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway is scheduled to open in 2019. So while last week saw the beginning of Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party, it might be time to start talking about Christmas as well. Jingle Bell Jingle Bam will be returning once again in Hollywood Studios and so will the Jingle Bell Jingle Bam Dessert Party as well. The Chinese Theatre Courtyard will house an array of holiday themed snacks, desserts, beers and wines and there will also be a VIP character available for meet and greets as well. You'll then be escorted to a reserved viewing area to take in Disney Movie Magic, which features some cinematic moments from Disney movies, and then that will be followed by Jingle Bell Jingle Bam, packed with music, fireworks, projections and special effects. So the parties begin about an hour and a half before showtime and are available to reserve now. Now from November the 6th right through until December the 22nd, the prices are 79 for an adult and 45 for a child, and then from then to until January 1st, the prices are 89 for an adult and 49 for a child. So Disney Springs has seen a lot of changes in the past couple of years, with new shops, new dining experiences, expansions, brand new parking garages, and also World of Disney having massive changes as well. Just recently, a new pedestrian bridge has been lifted into place across Buena Vista Drive. The new bridge will provide access to Disney Springs from the parking garage, which is currently under construction across the opposite side of Buena Vista Drive. The new bridge will let guests cross over to the marketplace area between World of Disney and Basin. So this is now the third pedestrian bridge and joins the other two. One which lets you cross near the orange garage and the other one which lets you cross near the hotels down at the marketplace area. So we've been following along with the rollout of Disney's digital key system here on the show since its first inception at Disney's Wilderness Lodge. So Disney has just announced that it will now expand the new service to all hotels on the resort, including vacation club properties. Now for those who don't know, the digital key will let you unlock your hotel room door and guest common areas like pools, lifts and lounges and is used from the My Disney Experience app with your Bluetooth enabled device. Now if you've checked in online, the digital key also allows you to bypass the front desk going straight to your room when it's actually ready. Don't forget, even though they've introduced this new service, you can still open resort room doors and the common areas with your magic band as well. So this year marks the 90th anniversary of Mickey Mouse's big screen debut in Steamboat Willie on November the 18th, and Disney has announced events both inside and outside of the parks to help celebrate. Now ABC will be joining in with a two hour primetime show broadcasting from LA. Mickey's 90th Spectacular will be a star studded elegant affair worthy of a superstar like Mickey. So no announcements have been made about any appearances or performances on the broadcast as of yet, but it will air on November the 4th from 8pm until 10pm. So Disney's Caribbean Beach Resort is getting a lot of attention at the moment, with work being completed to overhaul the resort and also the new Skyliner station as well. Despite all of the concept art and the press releases saying so, the new waterfront restaurant will not be called Shutters. The restaurant's new name will be Sebastian's, named after our crabby little friend from The Little Mermaid. Now the menu will be a blend of Latin and Caribbean flavours from market fresh ingredients. Disney told us the reimagining of the resort's old Port Royal area will be completed in the next few months. Now if you haven't experienced issues with slow Wi-Fi at the parks and resorts then you are in a very small group of people. However don't despair as there may be some hope for internet kind as Disney has just announced that a new Wi-Fi network is now available at Port Orleans French Quarter. The new Wi-Fi is called WDW Resort Guest and should give better connections as it's targeting guests specifically staying at the resort. I'm sure we'll probably hear a lot more about this in the coming months as it's rolled out to other resorts as well. So there's been another new update to the My Disney Experience app on both iOS and Android and this pretty much builds Shop Disney right into the app itself. Now once installed the new update pops up with a message to advise you can now purchase directly from the app instead of having to use the separate Shop Parks app. Once you scroll down there is a buy merchandise option and once clicked it looks exactly like the Shop Disney Parks app. The app will still pull any stored cards from your profile and also apply any discounts for annual pass holders or any free shipping as well. Now the update is now live, so if you haven't already updated, you can do so from either the iOS or the Google Play Store. A brand new pop-up shop has made its way to Disney Springs, which is exclusive to DVC members. The new shop will be open until September the 3rd and can be found at the Marketplace Co-op and is the first time Disney has introduced a pop-up shop solely to focus on DVC. There is a wide range of items from Dooney and Burke bags, magic bands, pins, shirts, 
caps and a lot more as well. But as an extra bonus, you can also use your DVC members discount on qualifying items. in the mood to look at some Disney merchandise then you're in the right place. We'll start with this Real Men Wear Mickey Ears tee but there was no price posted with this one. There's also a fantastic new iPhone case with a 3D effect and it looks like one of the old Park e-tickets. Now this is priced at $34.99. Next up there are a few new things in the UK pavilion at Epcot which are Mary Poppins themed. So we'll start with this lady shirt which is $32.99. And then there's this hoodie, which is $49.99. There is a tumbler for $24.99. And also a sugar and cream set for $34.99. And also this matching teacup and saucer for $29.99. There is a brand new Ghost Will Follow You Home shirt, which has images on both the front and the back. And also this Haunted Mansion t-shirt as well. Now both of these are priced at $24.99. There is a brand new Epcot tee being sold in mouse gear for $34.99. This next one is a brand new Funko Pop, which is themed to Splash Mountain and debuted in the parks yesterday. It features Br'er Rabbit and Br'er Bear riding in the iconic log from the ride. Now I couldn't see a price on this, so if you do know, let me know in the comments below as this was just released yesterday and there was massive queues to get this one as well. Finally, as Halloween season has just begun at the parks, this new Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party Magic Band is out and is a limited edition of 4,000. Now it's only available for guests attending the party and retails at $39.99. So finally last week, we hit the magic number on YouTube of 100 subscribers. So I just wanted to say a massive thank you from me from the bottom of my heart to everyone that actually watches the content I put out on YouTube and also who follows on Twitter and also our Facebook page as well. So as a way of saying a little thank you for me to everybody that supported me, I wanted to do the first giveaway on the channel. Now this will run from Monday the 27th when this show goes live right through until Monday the 3rd of September when I'll pick a winner. So you may have seen him in the vlogs, but here to tell you what you can win is Nathan. So here's some of the prizes you can win. First up is this Finn Funko Pop. So next up is this Pocket Pop keychain featuring Webby from the new DuckTales TV show. Next up is this Chip and Dale Ufufi. And lastly, we also have this Mickey and Minnie Ufufi as well. Thanks Nathan for showing us what you can win. So to be in with a chance of winning, you'll need to be subscribed to the channel and also following along on our social media so I can contact you. Now when this video is released on Monday the 27th, just like and share this post on either Facebook or Twitter and you'll be in with a chance of winning. Now links to the social media channels and also the posts will be in the description below. So that's it for another episode of the show and we are all caught up on the latest Disney news. Now, if you did like this video, please drop a thumbs up as that will help us out on YouTube and while you're there, don't forget to subscribe and also hit that notification bell so you never miss an upload of the show. Don't forget, you can find us all through the week on Facebook and Twitter with all of the latest Disney news, facts and history. And until next week, all that leaves me to say is good luck in the giveaway and we'll see you real soon.